and get your kiss on. So I just met up with Tamal. Um, right now we're in Yoyogi Park. This is the Sakura. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, what's up? I'm at this cafe. It's called And People. I know it's a really dumb name, but Tamao showed me this place. She knows like all the cool places in Tokyo. This is in Shibuya. We're on like the sixth floor of this building, and um, it's pretty dope though. It looks like rich, old. Like old and rich. I got some milk tea, you know me. Also, I took my piercings out. This hole closed up before I put new earrings in, so I kind of had to low key like pierce through the skin again. And then I tightened it too much, so the skin like grew back over the earring, like from the back. Literally, the earring, like the lock part, was like inside my ear. And then like I couldn't even take the earring out. And I left it like that for a month because I didn't even see it like that. Like I didn't even notice until just a couple days ago. So yesterday I went to the hospital and they like ripped it out and it was kind of scary. Yeah, I wish I could have filmed it for you guys but check it out like so from the front it looks like okay looks normal made it yeah from the front it looks normal but like from the back you see that made it oh. like from the back it's like that <laughs> yeah you can but from the back it's like that so yeah, and it was like that for a while, so it wasn't just like the skin that grew over, it was like a little bit of uh, a little bit of meat. So they really just had to rip that shit out. So yeah, so I'm gonna have no piercings for a while. I hope y'all ladies still think I'm cool without my bling. I don't know if I'm cool anymore now without my without my bling. Alright, what's up my quesadillas? Right now I'm in the beautiful country of Dopongi. This is Modi Tower, which is like this big ass uh a big ass tower. There's a cool spot over there. Dopongi is pretty cool. I've never been here during the daytime. It looks a lot better during the day, I gotta say. Like, I never really liked Dopongi because every time I came, I came here at night, I went clubbing and it just like, I don't know. Low key gave me like dirty vibes. Seemed kind of sketch, I don't know. But during the day, it's like real nice. So I just came here through Shibuya and like, I met a quesadilla. She stopped me. She was really nice. Nice to meet you, Mona? Mona, right? Yeah, Mona. First thing Mona said to me was, oh, I thought you'd be taller. What the hell? First of all, I'm not even short. Like, I'm 5'11". I could pass a 6. I asked her how tall she thought I was. She said 6'4". I said, what the fuck? I'm Japanese. Asians don't get that tall. And then she's like, oh, well, you're half white. White people don't even get that tall. What the fuck? But it was funny, though. She was a nice girl. But, uh, nah, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not a giant. I just hang out with short people a lot. But I'm glad y'all have this, uh, tall image of me. I guess that, you know, I guess y'all think I'm kind of, like, a big boy, you know what I'm saying? I appreciate it. Funny, though, because every time I meet up with a guy quesadilla, they say, oh, you're taller than I thought. But if I see a girl quesadilla, they're like, oh, you're shorter than I thought. Like, I don't even know. The security made me put my tripod in this bag. Now I feel like I can't vlog. Like, this is weird. Can't vlog right. Like, I can't. This is, like, weird. It's like can't hold the freaking fuck what let's see if i can still do my professional vlog tricks all right here we go uh, nah fuck fuck i can't do this shit without the tripod all right so uh i just met up with tamao we're in the mori tower now at this museum thing all right so apparently what this explains is that these are human robots that make dolphin noises it's a very specific and pointless thing but uh japan is just on their own wave they're just doing their own shit japan is just on some next level shit right tamao japan's like on some next level shit are you happy with like where japan is taking its robot technology yeah how do you feel about the sex robots and stuff like that? It's good for men. Oh. <laughs> so you're happy for the men? Yeah. Seriously? Yeah. Wow, you don't think it's like competition for you? No. Oh, why? Uh, they are not enemy to me. Huh. Yeah, you know you're human. Oh, you know why? You probably... Wait, do you use the sex robots? Oh, okay, okay. Maybe that's why you don't have a problem with it. <laughs> that's a random titty right there. Hold on. Wait a minute. Tamo, why 
Why is there pants everywhere? Because this is her room. Oh. Hey, Tama. Is this hot? No? No. Oh. She ran away. Okay, Tama just like took a phone call and like walked away from me, but she's walking really far, so I don't know why. I feel like something's going on. Let's go follow her. You know, this stuff is cool and all, but I feel like I could just like wrap a paper clip around a pencil and just call that art. I feel like we think that like these things are so deep and like so like intricate and stuff like that, but really like this is just trash. Like what the fuck is that? I mean, y'all can like call that art, but like, I don't know, man. I feel like some of the Lego sets I built were way more artistic than this. <laughs> This is Tokyo, everyone. Don't do not do not do not He's like a robot baby, basically. Pretty cute. It feels real alive. It's like, look at that beat. Like a penguin. So, this is me. Thank you. 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 We just did the do, you know what I'm saying? We're just like on those chill vibes, bro, dude. You know what I'm saying, dude? Like, we're just like on those gnarly waves, bro, dude. You know what I'm saying, dude? Now we're gonna go to Shibuya. Probably go to Taco Bell. I like Taco Bell. Taco Bell here is really good. I don't know why. I never go to Taco Bell in America, but I just go here all the time. <laughs> Uh. But anyway, we just have some Taco Bell. Yeah, we're going home now. This is a a a. What's up, my quesadillas? My dudes, my dudettes. Today we're in my hood right now. This is Takairo. I'm just kidding. This ain't no hood. The only hood in this video is this hood. I'm going to Shinagawa today. Gonna meet up with Soichiro and Tsubasa. If you remember them from the Japanese boys night out, something like that. Japanese boys hit the club. Oh yeah, that one. The weather hasn't been too great lately. You know, get you bummed out. But like my vibes have just been so like on point lately you feel me bro dude i think once you just appreciate the good things in life life just gets kind of fun unless you got aids then that would suck ass you probably suck some ass right now i got my wired airpods in listening to some city pop gets you in those japan vibes one thing you'll notice about me is i'm always plugged in i like to listen to music all the time because you know i like music who doesn't i don't know everyone likes music but i like to dance so i'm always like getting groovy with it you know what i'm saying not saying not saying nah but back in high school i used to bust out on the gram nah but back in high school i'd always be walking through the hallways with my headphones in music is literally what got me through school probably should have took them out during class but you know at least i didn't fall asleep people think i'm like smart and stuff like that and i can see that you know i kind of give off those uh, very sophisticated vibes you know what i'm saying i already know i seem like a very intelligent man but to be honest with you it's just not the case i'm like not that smart i'm pretty dumb hey maybe not dumb but i wasn't very studious i'm street smart not book smart i was class of 2018 but i came close to not graduating i don't know school was just kind of hard for me i guess i try my best i mean I think I tried my best, but then again, I don't really remember doing homework a single time at home. Hold on, so she does in the whole suit and everything. Damn, Let's look, go, bro. look, it's 50. Long time no see, long time no see, man. 